YouTube world back at it once again instant classic 8 here with a video topic um, want to start talking about WrestleMania because of course we're a couple weeks out um, first off I want you to go in that link in the description box go check that out you guys know from 2008 that I was on impact that was a promo in there so I, I was been able to try to upload this forever I finally just got a chance to once I figure out how to do it but just go check that out but this video is about um, my WrestleMania it's about um, a contrast between Undertaker's WrestleMania undefeated streak versus Shawn Michaels, uh, I guess, Mr. WrestleMania title. Basically, which one means more? Not which one is better, but which one means more? Now, I want to start off with um, the Undertaker's undefeated streak. Um, yes, he is 17-0, and, 0 and um, you know, it's pretty much a big deal right now. The thing that really bugs me about his undefeated streak is that Honestly, I don't believe this streak would have come as big as it has if I don't know when it was first announced, but one of the the announcers said that Undertaker is such and such an O, and they kept they do it a year the next year and the year after that, and then it just became the streak where he became undefeated. I think that if whoever like I said, I'm not sure off the top of my head, whoever the announcer was at the time, if they didn't mention that he was undefeated, that it wouldn't have came, you know, it wouldn't have gone this far. Um, but then, like I said, his streak is going 17, you know, 17 and 0, which is impressive, you know, for that undefeated streak. Because any undefeated streak is pretty good. But when you look at the quality of matches and also who he's faced, it's it just hasn't been that big. Um, as you can see, I put the matches for both in the description box. These ratings come solely from uh, Dave Meltzer. That's why I got the whole list from. So um, they're not my ratings, but I just gave you something, a guy, something to um, you know, reference. But um, he's had great matches. Sean last year, we get Shawn Michaels, an amazing match, great match with uh, Edge, Batista. Um, uh, he's had good matches with Randy Orton, uh, Ric Flair, Triple H, you know. But he's he had those good matches. But then you look at other stuff. Jake Roberts and El Gigante and Sid Vicious or Psycho Sid and Diesel and Bossman and Mark Henry and the matches came twice. They haven't been all that good, you know. Like I said, the undefeated streaks there because they brought it up, but when you look at these matches, you know, they're just I wouldn't say easy wins, but there's nothing spectacular about them. It's just he got a W and you know and the whole thing about, you know, that he's performed, well, I can't say performed best because that's Shawn Michaels, but he's, you know, winning all these matches on the biggest stage really isn't that true because the biggest stage really didn't become the biggest stage until about WrestleMania 17, maybe. You know, all those other times, they were just basically pay-per-views that were promoted more than others. So, um, like I said, his streak, the fact that it is undefeated for, you know, as long as he has... That is good, but when you look at the people that he's actually faced, it's not really a big deal. On the contrary, Shawn Michaels, you look at his his um, match listings, he, he really hasn't had a dull match, you know, like the Undertaker's had. Undertaker's had a bunch. Shawn Michaels has only had one, maybe two. Um, in the description, you can see I've only added his singles matches. I didn't put anything that he had tag matches with the Rockers. I just didn't feel it was fair. But, you know, Shawn Michaels' whole thing is that he performs his best at WrestleMania. And I think that is more important than the streak because not too many people, other than last year, this year, uh, maybe WrestleMania 21, no one was looking at, uh, you know, no one orders the pay-per-views to see Undertaker get his streak in. Like this year... Most definitely. People are seeing that, you know, there's a possibility that he could, you know, definitely do it. But people, you know, the Mr. WrestleMania thing is about his quality of matches and how well he performs. People order WrestleMania to see Shawn Michaels. I'm not saying everybody, but there's a, majority, a lot of people out there that order WrestleMania because of Shawn Michaels. Last year against Undertaker, uh, John Cena, uh, Ric Flair. Uh, Freaking the the triple threat against Benoit and Triple H, uh, my favorite match of all time against Kurt Angle. Um, like I said, Jericho, Razor Ramon, just so many matches. 
I just think his his whole you know Mr. WrestleMania I guess you call it gimmick that whole thing is way more important than Sean Undertaker's undefeated streak. Now, going off of both of those, I want to talk about the match this year. A lot of people are talking about who should win, who's going to win, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people are saying that it's stupid that they're doing the streak versus the career because Shawn Michaels isn't going to end his career. I don't know about that. I can't say. I Personally, I do feel that Shawn Michaels will lose this match. Mainly because, why would you have Shawn Michaels beat The Undertaker? It doesn't really do anything. I mean, yeah, he ends the streak. But like I said, the streak isn't all that impressive. You know, as far as the match quality goes. The streak isn't all that impressive. And then, you know, obviously The Undertaker, you know, they would have mentioned something. He's not going to retire. At least I don't see him retiring. Um, If Shawn Michaels beats The Undertaker, then the record is... I won't say trash, but it's, it's blemished. It's got a loss on there. Did, was, would, that, will it really matter next year, WrestleMania 27, about the Undertaker's match? I don't think so, because this whole thing is they've been building him up as being undefeated. The streak, the streak, every single year, it's all about the streak. Next year, say if he does lose this year, next year he comes around, no one cares, because the streak is broken. It'll just be another match, and he'll have that one blemish on his record. So I just I I honestly think it would be dumb for them to give him the loss. Um, I think it'd just be way better for Shawn Michaels just to go ahead and lose this match. I mean, it'll be a great match, but I just don't see how it would help. No, it'll help uh, uh, Shawn Michaels because he'll have that on his his career mark that he beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania. But it doesn't help the Undertaker out at all. Like I said, he'll lose this match next year. What's it care anymore for, you know, whoever he faces, what's it care? Because he has that one blemish, and, you know, that's all they'll talk about, oh, Undertaker lost to WrestleMania, blah, blah, blah. That's all they'll bring up. So, I think it's just smart just to keep him undefeated. Uh, like I said, hopefully we can get a great match, so that will add to his four or five good matches you know, that he's had in his, on his uh, WrestleMania streak. Because, like I said, the matches way back when, they just weren't that good. And, like I said, it doesn't make the, the streak all that impressive when you have all those bad matches. But that's just my two cents. Until then, it's the Classic 8. I'm out.